remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Concerned environmental rights advocates in the oil-producing Niger Delta region of Nigeria have expressed caution over the recent move by Shell Petroleum Development Company Limited to sell its onshore assets to an indigenous oil consortium, stressing that the oil major has to upset all liabilities and outstanding legal issues with host communities negatively impacted by its activities in the past years before the conclusion of the sale transaction. The advocates who spoke to our crew last week in Port Harcourt River State also questioned the integrity of some of the Shell facilities, including crude oil pipelines that they believe are obsolete and should be decommissioned to avoid further environmental disaster in the region. Shell Petroleum Development Company Limited, SPDC, is a subsidiary of the multinational oil company Shell that has championed oil explorations and production in Nigeria's onshore oil fields for decades. Recently, the company announced a deal to transfer some of its assets to some indigenous oil production and exploration companies under the Renaissance Consortium made up of ND Western Limited, Aradel Holdings PLC, the Petroleum Group, First Exploration and Petroleum Development Company Limited, and the Walter Smith Group. The deal worth $2.4 billion in total will see the oil major transfer its 30% stake in 15 onshore and 3 shallow waters oil mining licenses to Renaissance Consortium. However, it is reported that SPDC will continue to provide technical support even after the completion of the takeover. As the news of the recent deal filters in, some concerned environmental watchers are asking questions about the fate of host communities negatively impacted by the activities of Shell in the past years. President of the Movement for the Survival of Izon Ethnic Nationality, Musin, Kennedy West, and environmental rights activist Dumnamene Fineface wants Shell to attend to pollution and remediation issues before handing over. No, nobody is saying that you can't, you know, divest into some other uh, businesses. But you should be able to leave this environment that you want to do business clean. I know multiple cases are in court, both in Nigeria and outside the country. They need to address some of these issues. They cannot run away from their liabilities and responsibilities and leave it for a local indigenous companies that have come together under Renaissance to say they can run that. Communities with oil facilities such as crude oil pipelines running through them, have continued to complain and report issues of recurrent oil spillages. While it may be true that some may be due to activities of oil vandals, it's also true that some are aged and rusty, therefore can no longer be safe for use. A Port Harcourt based environmentalist, engineer Oluwai Ogusu and Comrade West say the integrity of pipelines should be put in check to avert future environmental disasters. You must carry out a study to show what the status of what is on ground, what you intend to do with those things that will be the fallout, you know, from what you are leaving behind. So we don't know that. Even the host communities don't even know. So everybody's taking on our What exactly are they going to do with those uh, with, with, with those uh, facilities? Are the, co the companies are they coming to decommission them and then get a new pipe? Because the communities, most of the communities have asked the company to come and remove those pipes if possible, put new pipes, construct new pipes so that we'll not be going through this issue of you know um, consistent um, spillages for decades now. The oil and gas business space in Nigeria has been heavily dominated by international companies, with their indigenous counterparts trailing far behind for reasons around technical expertise, funding and capital issues, among many others. This acquisition is a noteworthy achievement for the Renaissance Consortium, whose subsidiaries like Andy Western are already running OML 34 smoothly which they took over in 2011. The environmental rights activist 
also emphasized that the government must ensure that concerned oil companies and host communities are on the same page in line with the provisions of the Petroleum Industry Act, PIA, to avoid dissonance in the future. The new act now, you know, the PIA, you know, emphasizes on community development and community participation in decisions taken. So for this issue, I'm not too aware. I'm not aware. I don't, I've not seen them come to consult the communities. It is the responsibility of government to ensuring that the interest of the people is carried along in that process, the interest of the environment is accommodated in that process, and even the interest of the government is also captured in that process properly. As indigenous companies continue to deepen their involvement and partnerships in the oil and gas business, environmental sustainability frameworks must be put in place to protect the ecosystem for future generations. Inside the Niger Delta, 